August reset episode 23, 23, 23 days in a row. As we are entering the end of this August reset, I can clearly see the group of loyal viewers or watchers simmering, slimming down, simmering down. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm basically trying to say uh, the group is getting smaller and smaller, right? So because of that, um, I want to make now videos that are really solving problems for people that are still with me on this journey. And because of that, today's video will be about two things, nutrition and supplements. And more so the things that I'm using right now because I think there's still a bunch of people, um, at least a few hundred, you know, watching this that probably are not making the most out of their health. So I'm just going to tell you the things that every person should be eating on a daily basis and should be taking. And then I'm going to add the things on that I think can also help if you have certain goals as it pertains to fitness, muscle growth, higher testosterone, all those types of things. First off, we're going to start with regular food, the things that each and every one of you should be eating on a daily basis. Number one, blueberries, all right? Also, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get super scientific on you. You can Google it and just be like, what are the health benefits of blueberries? There's so much information out there that goes into scientific detail. I'm not going to attempt to regurgitate that in an amateur style way. I'm just going to tell you, like, I'm literally just going to tell you, like, what it is that you should eat. So blueberries, crazy healthy for a variety of reasons. Two, ginger, ginger, get that ginger in you. Three, broccoli, broccoli, like, I know there's a lot of jokes about, you know, bros eating chicken and broccoli, and but there's a reason why all elite athletes eat broccoli like I eat it on a daily basis raw um, <coughs> eat it as fresh as you can eat it as fresh, fresh as you can because there is this weird thing with broccoli that as soon as it's cut like it already kind of like loses some of its value so if you can find like as access to like biologically grown fresh broccoli even better like I get from my dad's garden um, Sweet potato, pumpkin, any type of orange vegetable, but like sweet potato is one of the absolute best. Pumpkin, even canned pumpkin, like get that in you. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think, I think that's it in terms of like the, 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 the main foods that you should focus on. Um, in terms of supplements, fish oil. Every single human being needs to use fish oil aka omega-3 on a daily basis. Like there's just no way around it. It's good for your joints, good for your cholesterol, good for your heart, good for your cognitive functions, like it literally helps you think. It's just like it baffles me because this is something I ask people all the time like I'm like do you take fish oil and they're like oh no why? It's crazy how people still don't take fish oil. Um, doesn't matter if you're an athlete or just an office worker that never removes fish oil, please. Go for your skin, go for your hair, everything. Um, vitamin D. Vitamin D. Um, disclaimer, I like to take it before going to bed. I find, find that it works best for me like that. If I take vitamin D, D, D during the day, I feel sluggish and tired. Um, Again, like you're not getting enough vitamin D just from the sun unless you're living on the beach in the Caribbean, which most of us are not. So vitamin D, get on that. Um, again, doesn't matter who you are, what age you are, what sex you are, like you always need that. So fish oil, vitamin D. Um, honestly, um, I still take a multivitamin, but I've actually been reading a bunch of reports on multivitamins that they're native, perhaps not that good, so I'm not even gonna recommend that. And if you eat healthy enough, I think you should be fine. Now, I'm gonna start getting into the stuff that, so this is basically just what every person needs to eat and supplement with, like regardless. 
you know and that's already a lot like think about it like that's already like you know two pills a day um and i know a lot of people, a lot of people have this weird thing where they can supplements they're like i don't want to take pills like it's, it's a capsule all right calm down you're not taking antibiotics but that you should definitely get on that now as it pertains to the extra stuff i know a lot of you guys are gonna love hearing this me obviously i take creatine um because it helps me build more muscle it makes me bigger it helps my muscle store more fluid thus making them bigger in the process recovering quicker but apparently there's also a bunch of studies that link creatine to increase cognitive functions and brain functions so it might even like help your brain um but even aside from that if you're into like sports and getting stronger even if it's just running um, creatine can and will help and it's literally from all the like bodybuilding fitness supplements out there it's literally the only thing that actually works all that other stuff doesn't work creatine actually works all right like that's the one thing you should be using and then on the topic of like actual nootropics i have been supplementing so all right so i think i've spoken I've, I've talked about my caffeine usage in the how to obtain ecstasy you know with running video um i cannot drink coffee all day and i think there's a lot of, a lot of people who, who can't do it but do it anyway because it's just like coffee like it's, i need that boost um, so I was looking for something to, like something that'll pick me up in, in you know, on, on my after lunch dip or like, you know, around 3.34, like 4-ish p.m. That's when a lot of people are like, oh, you get sluggish and tired, but it's too early in the day to call it quits. It's actually literally uh, 3.30 right now. Um, and I just pop me a maca so maca that's m-a-double-c-a um, it's actually a peruvian herb a lot of people use it to increase increase uh libido 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 that's how you say it in english libido and uh, but also it's like it just makes you more on the ball it is it has been said to raise your testosterone i'm not sure about that but it does give you like a very clear um rush of energy and it's controlled there's no crash it doesn't affect your sleep like caffeine does so i like to like have caffeine in the morning mock in the afternoon one mock is enough one little pill and uh yeah check it out if you're if you're looking for something like that'll help you through the day um without you know like just drinking coffee all the time and crashing and then I've actually ordered, let me, let me pull out my phone because I, I forget the name. I ordered two more nootropics today because I'm getting very deep into this stuff. I'm really like um, into it and I'm interested. So I got one thing called Tonkat Ali. If you're familiar with uh, Dr. Andrew Uderman, like this uh, neuroscientologist, neuroscientologist, neuroscientist, it has been hyper popular on the YouTube for the last couple of years. Um, this is basically like one of the only guys that you could actually trust. Like he doesn't have enemies. Everyone it's just like unanimously like, yeah, this guy knows his stuff. He's legit. Andrew Uderman, you should know who he is. And if you don't, Google him and start consuming his content that he as it pertains to more testosterone production with you know this is something that like all men like going in their 30s are looking for like i think we're like not all of us but like a lot of many of us are looking for natural ways meaning non-steroid ways to like increase our testosterone and, and to stay like sharp and young and muscular and like you know to basically just you know like stay manly in a, in a, in a good way um, so apparently Tonkat Ali is one of the, the few the few natural things that has been said to actually work. So I'm going to start using it and see what happens. And then on top of that, I also ordered something called, I'm going to say this in the French way, I'm, I'm going to say Kistanche, but I guess it's Kistanche. So it's C-I-S-T-A-N-C-H-E, Kistanche. Kistinch, 
I don't know, Kistinch tablets and um, well, that's just something that I'm also going to dabble with. I really am not going to speak on these things yet because I haven't even tried them, but if you're interested in like where my scope is at, that's where, where I'm, what I'm looking for. Um, and then, oh, I forgot, you should, all, you should actually also take a magnesium supplement. Like most people are not getting enough magnesium from their diet. So magnesium won't be far dead. Also, as a general rule, guys, I found like if the doc says, you know, if, 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 if the, the uh, instruction manual says like take two pills a day, like I, I'll, I'll always take half. Like I usually take half of what the doc is telling me because I believe that usually it's enough. And I feel like most companies are just commercially trying, you know, to get you to use as much of the product as possible. And I don't think we need that much, especially if you're taking it daily. Um, so yeah, that is my list. I hope I've helped some of you, some of you dear folks. This is like my, this is like after a decade of research and trying literally like so many different things. I can guarantee you 98% of the supplements don't do anything. They don't work. They don't help. Um, like I don't notice anything, but these are some things that I do notice as a real benefit. And yeah, get on them if you're trying to be healthy and jacked like your boy. All right, that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for still being here 23 days later. Then we're still going. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's easy because it's not. It's, uh, it's been a, a, a tough ride, but a good one and a satisfying one. And that's why we're not giving up or keeping it pushing. All right, that's it, guys. Peace out.